it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the books I acquired in December. Most of them are vintage horror novels and one of them is a recent release. The first batch I will show are a bunch that I bought from a friend online who was selling some books so thank you to him. I'm really happy to add these to my collection and I'm really looking forward to reading them. First up is Cold Moon Over Babylon by Michael McDowell. I've read a few of his novels and enjoyed them, my favourite so far being The Elementals. And Cold Moon Over Babylon is one that I always hear other people talk really highly of. So it's one I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while, so was really happy to finally add a copy to my library and I'm definitely going to be reading this one before too long. Next up is XY by Michael Bloomline. This is a 90s psychosexual thriller and it was released in the Dell Abyss line and this is one I hear mixed things about but I'm really intrigued by it anyway. It's about a woman who one day wakes up as a man and yeah I need to hear more about that story. Next is Incubus by Ray Russell. I believe this was adapted into a film but I haven't read the book or seen the film yet so yeah, this one should be fun. I got Cast a Cold Eye by Alan Ryan. This is set in Ireland and I think it's more of a quiet horror type story and yeah, one that I'm looking forward to reading sometime. Next is The Gatherer by Owen Brooks and this one is Scarecrow Horror and I'm really excited for it. I got two Russ Martin novels. We have The Possession of Jessica Young and The Obsession of Sally Wing. I know some of his novels were featured in Paperbacks from Hell and they seem pretty trashy and fun. And last up from that batch I got a couple of Andrew Niederman novels. We have The Immortals and Sister Sister. So one is about creepy kids and one is about creepy old people. So yeah, covering all bases there. Next up are some books that my husband very kindly got me for Christmas. He got me The Hungry Moon by Ramsey Campbell. This is about some kind of pagan rituals and I've been wanting to read some more Ramsey Campbell so really happy to have this one. Next up is The Unborn by Andrew Lawrence. This is book three of the Blood of Nostradamus series. Um, my husband just found this I think in a thrift store or a second-hand bookshop so yeah I'm glad he grabbed it for me anyway because that cover is amazing and I think it was released as just The Unborn as well so I'm not sure if it can be read as a standalone or if it has to be read as part of a series. If you know, let me know. Next up is The Animal Hour by Andrew Claven or Clavan, not quite sure. And this one I had not heard of but it looks really interesting and it's set around Halloween so I'm definitely in. And I wasn't familiar with the author but he wrote Don't Say a Word which I remember seeing the film adaptation of that with Michael Douglas and Brittany Murphy, R.I.P. And remember it being like a pretty decent thriller, so yeah, I'm intrigued by this one. Next is This Perfect Day by Ira Levin. This is a science fiction novel set in a utopia that goes wrong. And he also got me a new release which I had on my wish list. It is The New Flesh, a literary tribute to David Cronenberg, edited by Sam Richard and Brendan Vidito. And I'd seen this online and was already 100% in. I'm a big fan of David Cronenberg, so I really wanted to check this out. And on top of that, it has a foreword by Kathy Koja. So yeah, all signs pointed to me needing this in my life. Absolutely love this cover. And it's got a really great spine as well. Like, check that out. Um, yeah, just all around really looking forward to diving into this one. And last up, he also got me a bookish related gift. Speaking of Kathy Koja, he got in touch with her and asked her to sign um, a couple of things for me. So I have this really cool kind of promotional book cover of one of the reissues of the cipher 
so she has signed that which is really cool and then also um, she signed a like a thumbnail from one of my book review videos that I did for one of her books which I absolutely loved so she has signed that which is really rad and yeah I'm really looking forward to getting this framed so yeah it was a really awesome and thoughtful gift from him so thank you to him um, yeah, he knows I'm um, all about the books, so yeah, he did very well. <laughs> I hope you had a great December and a great Christmas if you celebrate it. Let me know if you got any awesome bookish related gifts or if you have treated yourself to any good books recently. Thank you ever so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!